Yeah, can. Oh, how to use. What is E? E over M is what? 8 over. The equation is uh, E over M is uh, make the E over M as a subject to get 8B over B squared, B squared, right? E over M is. You have to find the B, right? I just, yeah. Uh, yeah, make the B as a subject, right? Make the B as a subject. You know, you have E over M in the equation, right? The E over M will be the nominator or numerator or denominator if you make the B as a subject. E over M will be at the bottom, right? Make the B as a subject. What do you get? B squared goes up, B squared comes down. E over M at the bottom, right? E over M at the bottom. Eh? So B is up here, E over M at the bottom. Eh? Okay. So you get the, you want to find the answer for the B, right? So go for the actual B, no problem, right? Actual B, no problem. Just put the values or the actual, you get the B. Now you need to get the worst B. The worst B means you get the maximum B possible. How to get the maximum B possible? The E over M use a smaller value or a bigger value? Small. So use the E over M of small value. How to get E over M, e over M small value? You only have E over M plus minus something, right? So 8 plus minus 2, let's say 8 plus minus 2. So E over M smallest could be how much? So equals 6 there. Then what else got uncertainty? D. Uh, D also use small value or big value to get a bigger B. D squared is denominator also, right? So use the small value or big value. So use both small, you get the greatest B. So the actual B minus the, the worst B, you get the answer ready for the B. Okay. So in the mark scheme, they put what? The largest EM or the smallest EM is used to find the worst B. The worst B, either you go for the B maximum or smallest, right? That's the worst one, right? So you go for the maximum B, let's say. So E over M, you use the smallest B. So in the in the working, they want to see that B maximum is equal to, down there you put substitute as smallest E over M. They want to see that. If they see that, uh, so you know the method. You know how to find the B max. Okay. So two methods, lah. this is the best versus uh, actual versus the worst. This one is the formula. Formula you don't understand. Okay, so but current mark scheme they always go for formula. So if I just know one method, you can yeah, definitely. So you go for the formula method. Now the formula method is the one given in the mark scheme. The the best versus uh, the actual versus the worst. They stop giving that working. I don't know why. So they move promoting more to the equation. Okay, guys. So let's see start lesson. Eh? Okay. So just try to focus about 35 minutes. Yeah. Okay, this topic is uh, a weird topic. Yeah. Why I say it weird? Because <laughs> what do you know about Einstein? So this is about what he did now. He actually, uh, quantum physics is uh, lots of scientists contributed to quantum physics. What is meant by quantum physics is uh, light. Okay, light. Light. Do light as momentum. Do light as momentum. You shine an intense light to the door. Is it uh, 
So you, you, you interlight with someone, the someone will be thrown out. So that way, you can light as momentum. From your previous physics knowledge, light don't have momentum, right? So because light is a wave, right? Electron, do electron as momentum? Because why? Why electron has momentum? It has a mass. Light has mass. Light don't have mass, right? So quantum saying that light has momentum. Quantum physics says that light has momentum. Okay. So when this starts, uh, because of few experiments, is failed to explain. Uh, actually, talking about light phenomenon. Uh, we know light. Light is a wave for particle. Light is a wave for particle. Light is a wave. Why say light is a wave? What's the proof? What is the proof? Light is a wave. Uh, because you can. What is the wave can do? Particle can't do. Can particle also can reflect, right? Refract, yeah. So because why light is a wave? Because it can refract, it can diffract, it can interfere. That's the phenomena of wave, right? If anything can do refraction, diffraction, interference, it's categorized as wave. Okay. So light does that. So light is a categorized as wave. Okay. If this is up to 19th century. Everybody agreed to this idea. Young's, Young's double slit experiment all proved that. But until in the early 20th century, uh, 19, early 1900, uh, 1900, there is one experiment called uh, photoelectric experiment. We will be discussing that later. Uh, during something to do with the light shine on a metal plate, the electron will release from the metal plate and give, give current. It's called photoelectric effect. Photo light give electrical current and the electron release from the metal surface. So scientists did this experiment. They predicted the outcome by using the wave idea. Assuming light should be a wave, they think they thought this is the outcome should be. They, they have a list of outcomes. If it's a light wave, if it's a wave, it should give this type of uh, outcome. But the result was totally against the idea of light as a wave. Okay. So then later, Einstein explained that light is the energy of a light is in terms of a particle. So a new concept was brought by uh, Einstein. Okay. No, he is he's a he's full of he slept for 10 hours average okay, every day. Okay. So when he woke up, he got lots of ideas in his mind. Okay. So whatever whatever stories he wrote, okay, looks looks interesting. Okay. When he explains this stuff, it looks interesting, but don't have proof. Right, we cannot accept any uh, fairy tale story told by him is accepted. But later, when the scientists do the experiment to show him that he's wrong, but finally proven whatever he said is looks like correct with the evidence of the experiment. Okay, so he connected to something. Okay, so yeah, so quantum physics is is the idea of light as another phase. Okay, like you know. Dual character. Huh? Light we know is a wave, but sometimes light shows particle nature. Okay, so that's what we're going to discuss until quantum. Okay, so so this so quantum physics. Huh? It's a behavior of matter and energy huh? at the molecular, atomic, nuclear, smaller at microscopic level. Huh? When energies go, when the light interact with the matter, the energy is we found it's a wave, but Finally, it looks like the energy of uh, light is in terms of packet. Okay? Quantum says the energy is in terms of packet. Okay? Like, you know, sugar, sugar granules, each like one, one molecule, right? like one granules, right? So it's a packet. Okay? Water, is it a packet? Right? Water is not a packet, it's continuous, right? Okay? Energy of wave, is it continuous or packet? Energy of wave, like continuous, right? You can't break into pocket, packet, right? That's the wave idea, right? So light, is, we, know, we thought its energy is continuous, it can't break into packet. But quantum says energy of light is in a packet. Okay. So yeah, very controversial idea. Eh? So yeah, so quantum physics. Eh? 
laws that covers microscope yeah the laws which covers the microscopy object does not function the same in such a small uh, uh, when come to the very microscopic level it seems uh, the light the energy doesn't works in a wave uh, behavior it act like a particle okay so yeah so quantum means is a uh, how much it's a discrete unit of matter and energy uh, packet of energy okay quantum okay okay so who developed the quantum physics these are the guys who developed the quantum physics okay the pioneer is max planck uh is the pioneer of saying that uh, very need to be very brave to tell that what the old scientists say light as a wave is now he said it has a particle nature you need to be brave but the first person who said that is max planck uh, uh, through his experiment uh, but then later the idea was strengthened by albert einstein okay albert einstein albert einstein introduced the idea of a packet re re strengthen the max planck idea and uh, improve uh, the photoelectric effect uh, i we will explain that nilbo oh, no nilbo right what is the contribution of nilbo what is the contribution of nilbo anybody yeah co2 the ship uh, the the electron energy level right in the atom the atom got the electron got specific energy level right so the electron at specific energy level is uh, proved by nilbo okay how nilbo proved that electron at specific energy level by using quantum physics okay by using quantum physics is proved that electron at energy level he just wrote theory but later experimentally has been proven okay that's why we can't neglect quantum physics because later experiment shows the idea is correct okay so up to here i think you will learn up to here your a levels eh? up to nil ball eh? uh, these two guys eisenberg owens prodinger is a high level of quantum physics if you take physics in universities you learn about them eh? okay so as i said max planck uh, found that the wave energy is quantized in a packet so the each packet uh consists of a discrete amount of packet eh? so the light the energy is in terms of energy sign in few small packets the packets given name as photons you know the photon whenever the term photon mentioned that means they use the idea of quantum physics okay what is photon means a packet of energy okay so packet of energy of em radiation okay this is totally against the idea of light is a wave okay packet of energy is against the wave idea you know? they contradict so photon is the of a light oh yeah what is photon is a packet of energy of an em radiation that means it applies for any em radiation it can be gamma ray can be x ray the so uf7 right all made of photon the energy is the energy is in the packet each packet called photon Okay. so now the light reaching the what the energy is at microscopic level einstein said all are in a packet of energy receiving like a packet of energy one packet called photon and uh, also oh, like this one there uh, it go to the microscopic level found the energy is in a packet okay so quantum it's a packet of energy of an electromagnetic radiation okay famous definition in exam and quantum question i asked first question they asked what is meant by photon so that's the first i do main question they asked so packet of energy of an em radiation okay okay now do we have formula for that that photon energy so planck said is the formula introduced by him eh? see energy of a photon is hf h is a constant because he is the pioneer who discovered this so uh, planck constant okay it's a planck constant uh, and the energy is multiplied by the frequency the frequency of the source okay 
and uh, the, of course the frequency we can convert to c over lambda right v equals to f lambda okay v equals to f lambda frequency speed of light over the wavelength because the em radiation speed will be speed of light right mm -hmm. energy of a photon hf hc over lambda okay let me see if i ask okay the light reaching this surface what is energy of one photon of light red light let's say red light one photon of red light so like constant multiply the frequency of the red light get energy of one photon okay, okay. so all the scientists who discovered quantum uh, involved in quantum physics all of them are uh, nobel laureate eh? all of them got nobel prize everyone eh? because it's difficult theoretically they prove something which is is against the idea which was learned earlier why again then they give nobel prize why why although it's against why they accept him because some experiment couldn't explain with the old idea the, the, the experiment only explained by this new idea so they have to accept this idea okay yeah? okay so for example uh, let's say so uh, energy of a photon wavelength is 500 nanometer so what is the energy of photon of a em radiation which has a wavelength of 500 nanometer so yeah so hf ha uh, hf so you can find the frequency first c over lambda okay speed of light divided by its, its uh, wavelength get frequency so you have to get that so this is the energy of one photon of this em radiation 500 nanometer what color is that uh, indigo maybe right blue blue or indigo uh, 500 nanometer okay so one one photon of uh, blue color uh, this much of it okay very small uh, the energy 3.98 times 10 power negative 19 joule one packet okay Yes, yeah, uh, so a light of source of emit photon red light 700 nanometer, a radio antenna FM also EM radiation as a wavelength of 3 meter. So what is the energy of photon of red light uh, EM radiation ratio? Same way, lah. You get the frequency, just multiply by the age, you get the photon energy. But without calculating, can you tell the A or B big the energy of a packet? Energy of one packet, one photon. One photon of red light big or one photon of FM uh, radio signal is big. Which packet energy is big? Photon of the red light or photon of the radio? For which has a higher frequency? Higher frequency, more more bigger the energy, right? Of one photon. So uh, red light, right? Red light should be at more photon. So gamma ray and visible light. Which has which photon has a greater energy? Gamma ray. Uh, gamma ray one photon has lots of energy okay what is photon a packet of energy of an em radiation dependent to the frequency of the source very contradictory eh? wave last time you learn wave the energy of a wave dependent to what property what rise energy of wave rise amplitude right so light you rise amplitude the energy of the light rises that's what you learn in your wave idea but now quantum says the energy of one packet is depend to frequency not amplitude okay so this is the working law i think you should be able to huh? just hf divide you get the answer huh? okay now, this is a very important question for you to understand so a laser output of 2 milliwatts a laser i need to tell about laser eh? uh, laser was discovered again based on quantum physics idea eh? no quantum physics means no laser okay laser is produced due to quantum physics laser is very useful stuff to us right all from quantum physics okay uh, the photon concept is used to discover laser okay So let's say a laser has two milliwatts of uh, uh, power, 
uh, line of frequency 7.5 times 10 power 14 hertz. Calculate the rate at which the photon are emitted from the laser. How many laser reaches the surface per second? How many, how many photons, sorry? How many photons of this laser reaches the surface at a second? If it has a power of 2 milliwatts, how many packet of energy? So what do you have to do? Power we know is energy over time. But now, new concept eh, for the quantum physics. The energy of a laser is in terms of photons. So one photon is HF, right? So if that energy got N photons, then the energy formulated to become NHF. Eh, NHF. Only happens for quantum, right? Eh, NHF. So power is NHF over T. Eh? Yeah, from here you can find the N over T. How many photons comes out in a second? This power over the HF. Of course, you get that. So 4 times 10 to the power of 15 photons released in a second. Okay, packet of energy. Okay. Okay. So how will the rate of photon emission change if the same laser were produced light to a lower frequency? What will happen to the number of photons? Same laser but lower frequency. That means, that means the same power but lower frequency. So when frequency get lower, what happens to the N over T? When F lower means N over T increases. We get more photon. Yeah? The packet of energy, the amount of energy kept in one packet becomes smaller and frequency reduces. Okay. That means you have uh, one one watts of red light, you have one watts of uh, violet. Okay. One both are same power. Same power source, red light, violet. Which will have more photons per second? Red light, violet. The power of that light is the same. Which will have more photon per second? Red will have more photons per second. Why? Lower frequency. Yeah. Lower frequency, the energy in one photon is less, so can have more photons for the same power. Yeah. So remember, power is NHF over T. Okay. Okay. So, Einstein got Nobel Prize for what? Einstein got Nobel Prize. Einstein famous for which, which discovery? Lots of discovery, yeah? What is the main discovery you still remember about Einstein? Uh, the famous one, yeah? E equals to MC squared. But the best, best scientific paper ever, ever published in 20th century is his paper, Theory of Relativity. Yeah, that's the best paper he ever published. But do we get Nobel Prize for that? No. We didn't get Nobel Prize for that. Why? No scientists understand his idea. <laughs> uh, it's not because of him, because other scientists are not on par with his knowledge. Uh, not to say knowledge, his IQ level. Uh, but, but, uh, but all the other scientists against him, because nobody likes Einstein, because he's smart. <laughs> okay. So, but the board of members who are giving the Nobel Prize decide who need to give the Nobel Prize, all of them against Einstein. Okay. But because Einstein became so famous, because why he became so famous? Because he wrote all his scientific papers so interesting until he even against Newton's idea. Okay. Newton, you know, gravity, the satellite, right? The Newton's law of gravitation. What's the formula? GMM of R squared. Okay. So, Newton's law of idea, nobody against, but Einstein say it's wrong and it's proven it's wrong. When, when Newton's law become wrong, what Newton said uh, about gravity, what you learn about gravitational, what Newton said, all mass objects are attractive in nature, so got force, right? So, he said the force due to gravity is acting on a mass objects, right? That's his idea, Newton's idea. And we use his formula to launch satellite and everything. Okay. But now later, you know, light, light, is it affected by gravity? Is it light affected by gravity? Light never affected by, now looks like it never affected by gravity. But there is one situation where light affected by gravity, right? 
black hole, black hole, somebody said black hole gravity is so strong until even light bends. I heard about that. Right? Black hole gravity is too huge, even light bends. So it means what? Light affected by gravity. You know? So it shows that light is affected by gravity. But light do it as mass. Light don't have mass. So Newton's idea is need some correction. Yeah? He talked about mass. He said only mass can experience gravity. But light looks like affected by gravity. So Einstein wrote his own theoretical uh, gravitational theory, accepted. Okay. But why is still you learn about Newton's law of gravitation? Because it works. Satellites still go around <laughs> with this formula. <laughs> okay. So I think some explanation is missing. Is his idea? Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. So that's why Einstein uh, and the double the board of members when they found that if we don't give him Nobel Prize for this year, 1921. Uh, that means the board is, uh, is idiot because he's so famous and he's so so they give him normal price for what he got normal price to explain quantum physics okay yeah. what he explained in quantum physics is just a small piece of his idea okay he was really regretted to get normal price for this photoelectric effect he's supposed to get for what theory of relativity okay okay but who, which scientist got the most Nobel Prize? Einstein only got one. Who got twice? Marie Curie. Good. <laughs> Marie Curie, yeah, from one line. <laughs> yeah, so Marie, got, Marie Curie got twice, okay, Nobel Prize. She's the first person who got twice Nobel Prize, once for physics, once for chemistry, but unfortunately she died because of bone marrow cancer. Uh -huh. To serve for science. Okay. So how many Marie Curie in this room? Four of you, huh? So maybe one of you can. So Einstein only got one, he never get twice. Okay. He fight with each other. He just need to give but he's genius. Huh? No doubt about that. Not only he is the one, only one got twice, many scientists got twice. The other one who got twice Nobel Prize, the transistor, the one discovered, transistor, he got twice. Okay. Okay, let's we explore what Einstein did make it getting him the Nobel Prize. Okay, all because of this experiment. If this experiment is not there, we don't know such thing as quantum physics. Okay, so this experiment, as I told you, photoelectric emission. Okay, so what is photoelectric emission? Okay, is the release of electron from the surface of a metal when electromagnetic radiation is incident on its surface. Okay. So photoelectric emission is the release of electron from a metal surface when an EM radiation is incident on that metal. Okay, the metal got electrons bonded to the metal, but when you shine EM radiation, EM radiation got energy, electron absorbs that energy, so it released and moved full to another plate and give current. And it's called photoelectric effect. Uh, so it's a little blur. Okay. Uh, okay, let me show you later. So this is like the metal plate. I have two metal plates. One of them is the metal plate. It shines with the EM radiation. The electron will be free. So get into a circuit. Uh, you got a micro emitter, very very sensitive emitter to detect the current flow. Okay. okay this is called photoelectric effect, uh, which unable to explain by using a wave idea. Okay. The place here is uh, evacuated, evacuated tube. We don't want the electron to experience any, what do you call, uh, never collide with the air. We don't want any air particle in here uh, so that it moves straight without any collision. Uh, so we want to get the current. Okay. okay, so this is the problem they face okay, in this experiment. Okay, let's we understand this. This also frequently asked in your exam. Okay. Why? The photoelectric unable to explain by using the wave idea. Okay. So first, uh, the experiment was first carried out Einstein. I need to change this. It's not carried out by Einstein. It was explained by Einstein in 1905. He explained it. I never do experiment. He never do experiment. Uh, it's a theoretical physicist. 
So you just sit on a table, you just sit, whatever people did, you just write the theory and I explain. Okay, why is that happens? Okay. So he explained in 1905, but this experiment conducted, I think, 1900. Okay. So the first problem they face is this is the problem. First problem, the emission takes place instantaneously. Okay, the problem, the, the emission takes place instantaneously. That means when they shine the light on the metal plate, the electron released immediately. Okay, the electron was released. They found the current immediately. Shine the light, they got the current immediately. Okay. Why is this against the wave idea? Okay. Wave idea, the energy is what? Continuous on a packet. It's continuous, right? You prolong shine on the plate. If more, more time you shine, more light will be absorbed by the plate because the energy of the light is continuous, continuously uh, 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 received by the electron. Okay. okay. Let's say the electron has a bonding of uh, 5 uh, EV electron volt. Here, normally we use EV. Eh? So that's the electron has bonding of 100 EV. Okay. It bonded with 100 EV in the metal. You apply a light which has an intensity of, can give out 10 EV per second. Okay, the light can give you 10 EV per second. So how long the electron need to wait to be released? The bonding is 100 EV. The light has intensity 10 EV per second. Okay, how long the electron need to wait to be released? 10 seconds. 10 seconds, right? The electron have to wait to collect 100 EV, then only release. Because energy of light is continuous if you consider it as a wave. Okay? If you reduce the intensity, it is the intensity. 10 EV reduced to 5 EV. What happened to the electron? Waiting time. Increase or decrease? Intensity drop. What is intensity? Power per unit area, right? Uh, power is what? Energy over time. So the amount of energy re reached the surface, right? Per second. Okay? So intensity decrease. What happened to the electron? Time to release. Take more time or long, uh, short time? And the intensity drop, amount of energy reach the surface is small. Electron need to wait more time, right? So when they change the intensity of the light, the electron release must be delayed. So the current you should receive later, okay? But when they do this experiment for a smaller intensity or huge intensity, the electron release instantaneously. Immediately, it was released. There is no delay. Okay, but according to the wave idea, scientists all thought it should have a delay. Energy is continuous. Okay, so first problem, unable to explain by the wave idea of light. So what is that? The emission of electron is found to be instantaneous. Okay. okay. Second, you need to know three here. Yeah? Next example, three. Outcome which against the wave theory. Okay. The second one they found this. The photo emission takes place only if the frequency of the incident radiation is above a certain value. The electron only release when the light has a certain frequency only above a certain frequency. Okay. That means higher frequencies. If you go lower than that frequency, certain threshold, lower frequency. Whatever intensity you use also, the electron doesn't emit it. But according to the wave idea, according to the wave idea, the energy of a wave dependent to frequency or amplitude. The energy of a wave depends to amplitude, what? Right? You make the light more intense means you think that the light has lots of energy. Electron easy to release, right? So now when they do this experiment, they make the red light very intense, but still electron not emitted okay but they change the red light to violet which has a higher frequency with a very little intensity the electron is emitted so the wave idea which say intensity is related to the energy of the wave not really works here okay the second shows that the energy of the wave the energy of the light is looks like more dependent to which factor Dependent to frequency. It's like the energy of the wave, uh, energy of the light, eh? it looks like depend to frequency. Okay? But 
they find it nothing talk about frequency. They say amplitude. Rise the amplitude, you get more energy. So how do you rise the amplitude means? You rise the intensity, right? Rise the intensity means intensity proportional to amplitude square, right? So AS knowledge. So rise the intensity, rise the intensity, more energy. So electrons should release, but never release. Eh? For a certain frequency. So they found that photoelectric effect as something called threshold frequency. Okay. So again, another blow to the wave idea for the light. So scientists get confused. Is it light? Light we know is a wave. It diffract, refract, interfere. But what is happening here? You cannot show the wave property. Okay. And the third one is the emission takes place whether the frequency release. Yeah. The, the release of electron is does not depend to the intensity of the radiation. It's not at all depend to the intensity of the radiation. Yeah. It's depend to the frequency. Okay. So, so will the science will come to a big problem because the property of light which already proven as wave now now is it a wave? It's definitely a wave. It's already proven. But when you interact with matter, something else is happening about its light, its energy. Okay. So the energy looks like more to depend to frequency. Okay. So this idea was prolonged for five years. Nobody was able to explain this. Only this experiment. Okay. Uh, then Einstein, he wrote his scientific paper, 1905, when he works as an office boy in a, I don't know, company. He wrote his scientific paper, published in 1905, and he got Nobel Prize for this in 1921, 16 years later. Okay. After 16 years later, he got Nobel Prize for this. Okay, for his discovery. So, this is the theory he explained. This is the unique formula he told. He said, the idea of Max Planck, he broke again. He said, energy of light, when you interact with matter, is in a packet. So, he said, it's a photon. And he explained based on photon. Uh, as I said, the storyline looks good, but he never get Nobel Prize because not proven. After 16 years, I think in 1919, eh? Millikan, you heard about Millikan? Millikan, who found the charge of electron, charge of electron found by him. He said, okay, I'll prove that what Einstein say is wrong. <laughs> he don't like it. Okay, he always prove that his idea is wrong. So, so he made an experiment to prove this equation is wrong, but unfortunately, it proven correct. Okay, so Sadler, uh, Millikan indirectly, prove that what Einstein did, his explanation is correct. So Einstein got a Nobel Prize, 1921. Millikan didn't get anything. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll talk about this next class. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So we stop here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>